What's up, YouTube? So this is the first video I'm doing on my Android phone. You know what I'm saying? I want to get on here and talk about. It seems like every video nowadays is like a relationship video or pop the balloon or trying to find love, trying to find blind date, trying to find, trying to find love. You know, it's like that's kind of the concept we're seeing nowadays, right? But then it's also a big pandemic of dope gold diggers and women doing men wrong and well this guy's doing women wrong too but it's like it's emphasized at least on, on my feed the women doing them wrong right how um, it's like the role models nowadays are just Meg the Stallion Cardi B and uh What's, what's the what's the worst one of them all sweetie sweeties i feel like the sweetie sweetie is the worst one sweetie is the worst one so i want to make a video to help young men to discover if their girl is hurting their success hurting their growth or if they're helping you know what i'm saying so one of the key things i look for in my past relationships is if the girl if we're out somewhere and something's like like super overpriced that she kind of speaks up be like yeah uh you know they tripping you know what i'm saying it's like like they put they point at it and be like hey wh who the fuck they think gonna buy that it's kind of thing it's like i can afford it but the fact that you care enough to actually point it out let you know that you care about my finances. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just, I'm not just like a meal ticket for you. You know what I'm saying? You're not just going to drain my pockets. You know? Um, I feel like that's important in, in the relationship when you're trying to build and you're trying to grow. So that's, that's kind of the real thing when you're trying to build something. You want a girl that's an asset to your life that adds on to you makes you better instead of a girl that's a liability someone that drains your pockets and holds you down makes your grow to success longer than it actually needs to be you know now if you're in, if you're in that kind of if you're into that kind of thing if you're in the tricking I don't fault you I, I like to trick sometimes but I trick Cause I make the money back, you know. See, <laughs> see, in my past video, I, I I fooled a girl from ATL to um from ATL to to what Baltimore. And notice I said quote unquote, quote unquote, because I didn't pay for the flight, I paid for the hotel, and we're both using the hotel. So <laughs> it's like. And it, it doesn't cost any extra money for me to say two adults instead of one adult. So it's like, is it really tricking? And then also, I got this video coming out soon. I might do something special for her birthday. So it's like, notably, that's not my girl. I just want to do something fun and entertaining for y'all and make some other girls on other girls jealous. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. What's the word? You gotta, you gotta set a bar. You know what I'm saying? So now, so now all the guys that come after me, they're at that that um, there's an expectation now. You know what I'm saying? And, but and that was just like selfish reasons. That's that's not really my my girl. You know what I'm saying? When I when I get a girl, you know. This, that's what I said earlier was the kind of thing I was looking for. So, for example, I was on a date the other day. And this girl ordered, she doesn't drink, but she ordered a virgin cocktail. The most expensive cocktail at the restaurant. Now, some people say I was tripping. I put, I put this in like threads. Some people say I was tripping. I was like, I didn't say anything to her, but I was like, what the fuck? Why are you drinking 
the most expensive drink. He didn't even let me know. Didn't even, it's like, not even joke about it. You know what I'm saying? Not even bring it up. You just, yeah, I want that one. Uh, bitch, you're not paying for that one. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? <laughs> you don't care about my money? It's like, now, to let me know if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if you're doing, if you're going to get something like super expensive on a menu, you know what I'm saying? And you're not like together together, like it's just a date. I feel like you should at least be like, you should at least bring it up to the, to the other person and be like, yeah. So well, the person that's paying like, yeah, so I'm thinking about getting blah, blah, blah. Do you know if it's good or not? Like you don't even have to ask for permission. Just... Let them know you're, give them the awareness. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like that's like courtesy. You know what I'm saying? And also it's like another thing that I look for is if a girl's a bum. If a girl's a bum, liability. I was talking to this girl. So I talked to a lot of girls. I don't know if you could tell by now, but. It's, that's that's really all it is. Talk a bunch of I got a bunch of talking stages, and I'm trying to I'm betting betting my options. You know what I'm saying? But I was talking to this girl. She asked me what I was doing. I was like, I'm working. I'm working, cause I work for Roundly. And I said, What about you? She was like vibing. I was like, What do you do for work? No, yeah, I asked her, What, what do you do for work? She's like, Vibe in the crib. What the fuck does that mean? So you ain't got no job? Liability. Can't add her to the life. She got cut off. But also she had like a a mutual friend that I was like, eh, I don't want to really entertain that. Like her one of my followers was was her aunt. So I was like, uh, eh, I don't know. Can't do that. So she was she was about to get cut off anyway. But then she said she ain't got a job. How you gonna be my girl and don't got a job? I'm trying to be a power couple. So that's why I said it's, it's an asset versus liability. If your girl's a liability, you gotta cut her off. Find something better. You know? Cause many guys, many guys are afraid to cut a girl off because it's like the only girl they can get. Or they think they can, that's the only girl they can get. When it's like there's millions of girls out here. I was in college, and the ratio was two to one. You know what I'm saying? You could literally go on Tinder or Hinge or any other dating site, dating app. Now you might have, uh, so you know, you might see, you might have, if you're on it already, you might have been like, what's the word? You might have already went through all the girls that are in your town or in your your radius so i would say he probably wants to go out go a little bit outside where you live and open up the app there get a little fresh reset because the girl you're looking for might be in the next town next to it you know what i'm saying you might got that joint in 30 mile radius and she's on the 45 so when you Go to a store or go to a, a mall or something. Open that back up. See within that 30 mile radius now. You know what I'm saying? So you, you gotta, you can't you can't just settle for girls that's draining your resources, like, and not being an asset to your life. You know. That's really all I wanted to say. Um, if you feel like more of these videos, make sure like subscribe. And we out. You meet up. Stay blessed. Stay loyal. Stay royal. Yeah.